than Mr. Esteban Asif Petalino. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Batik tears to a career, security is really good. For all, everyone that's here, party leader, chairman, Mr. Leslie Public Relations, my wife, Olivia, my friends, Mr. Chiap, where are you? The first man to step up beside me, Mr. Hustinia Arbol, thank you very much, and we are coming. I am no stranger to Toledo. I am no stranger to San Antonio. Everyone knows me. Everyone has seen my face. In fact, when you hear the surname Asif, it rings a bell. Asif. Right? And that's very good, guys. And that's because I was molded from someone really good. Starting from my dad, granddad. And now to my dad. May he rest in peace. But I know he's up there looking on me. I said, son. He would have wanted me to do this when he was living. Yes. But change, doing something positive, is never too late. That's right. Right? That's right. Yes. My name is Esteban Asi Jr. I am 29 years old, the youngest on this slate right now. Yes. And I want to tell my young yes. people that this is the start of a great new thing. Yes. It's not the red, it's not the blue. It's a green movement. Look around you. It's all green. It's all green. And what is green telling you? That's life. life. Yeah. And we need life, so we want green. That's right. 34 years, people. 34 years. Look at us in Toledo. What is happening? It's still the same. Right? No, I'm not here to come and tell you we're going to build a bridge. I'm not here to come tell you we're going to build roads. We're going to extend farmers' roads. I'm not here to tell you we're going to put in electricity. Because we know 34 years ago that had been started. So by now, we should be looking at newer things. That's right. Right? That's right. Where are my youths? Right around here lingering. What is there? Nothing to do. We need someone with vision. We need someone to create something. Toledo, look at Toledo. What are we doing here in Toledo? Cacao. Our farmers are doing cacao. But what are we doing right now? Farmers can't do much because there is no vision for our people. Why can't we come and start an industry whereby we do our value added, whereby we as Toledo can sell our chocolate, create jobs for our people. But if there is no vision, people, no one is going to do it. <coughs> we can go ahead and count all this and say all this. But I'm not fair for that. I'm here to tell you, change is going to happen, not today, not tomorrow, on the longer run. But it has to begin from somewhere. And the beginning is today. What I'm doing here is not for me. What I'm doing here is for all of us. That's right. Yes. Right? Five years down the road, I might not be here, but I want ten more of my younger guys to say, you know what? If he can do it, I want to do it too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We have to send across. Yes. They have never seen a green flag in San Vicente till lately. And Running around, we were in big files yesterday and we stopped and we greeted some people and one of the ladies said, are you guys Nigerians? <laughs> I said, no, the only, only people trying to take our country right now is Guatemalans. <laughs> but this is the Belize Progressive Party, it's the green machine, it's the green wave, it's the green movement. That's right. That's right. People are ready for a change. But who is willing to make that change? We. It is me, it is you, it is all of us. We, right. we continue to say we are tired of the blue, we are tired of the red. Yes. When election day comes, we bust and we go, we are all happy. We dance to the Super G songs, we drink our beers, we forgot all the problems, we sell our votes. Election finished, the person gets in power. Me and you have to go back to a farm and pick up with JP Japa and harvest with Kalalu because that's what we do. As Toledo people, we need not to beg. 
but we need to create more incentives. We are living our, of our land because we have land, but we want to create more markets, right? We have our produce. Where do we go? Why can't San Antonio, why can't Colombia, why can't Big Falls have their own markets and supply? Yeah. We are tired of having people coming from outside Mexico, Guatemala side, and bringing products here, man. This is for us. And then we'll see this because it's reality. There is no vision here. Our youths are sitting down smoking weed. Because nothing else there to do. Man, we can create opportunities for them. We don't want our teachers because when everybody becomes a teacher, everybody gets smart. We want the plumber. We want the carpenter. We want the painter. We want the farmer most important. We want the entrepreneur. And together, and yes, we need a fisherman. And together, we will do that. But it starts from you. It starts within you. I want to send that message clear. Today is the beginning of a new change. That's right. If you look at this right now, I am so happy. I feel the vibes. I am so happy. Why? Because it is a first for San Antonio. And you see a lot of green around. Right? A guy told me yesterday, look at what God did. Many different species of plants. Some we know, some we don't know. Yeah. But every plant is there for a purpose that's right. and, and need that's what we need to instill each one of us come for a purpose and when we say we want change we are start about it we will make that change but you can't say you want change and tomorrow you're back down right so i want you to, to think about this when i took this stand i didn't say i'm going to do it for me because man i want a fat salary no I know I can do change. I have very good brothers here. This is a very good team. And that is why I have never thought about stepping in the blue nor in the red. Of course, I can tell you, my family comes from a POP background. But man, what is happening? It's corruption. And should I stay in there? No. It is time for a change, people. I want all of you to listen to that. Take it back. My youth out there. The women out here, come on. We have to bring out good ideas. Sit down with the village leaders who apparently are not here because they're not interested, right? But we want them to come out. Yeah. And we'll be going community to community spreading the same message, right? Because when it's about time to change, they see someone stand up, one man come out and look, the next one stay back, then you see our next man come out, where you see everybody want to go. And that's the momentum we want to create, right? Look at this right now. Look at us right here. You don't see 10, 11 buses, 12 buses, because we have said that the green is for us. The green is about sustainability. Yes. Using our resources wisely, yes. using our bodies wisely. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you why, people. We are used to coming here, eating all the food, spending all this money. That money came from somewhere, and that person wants his money back. So who is going to pay for it? It is you five years, yeah. right? So, yes, we can go out there, we can party, but let us not forget the problems. Because if you go out there, you get drunk, you forget everything overnight, you still not solve the problem, right? So it starts from within us. <coughs> I am glad to be here and I am sensitizing my people. We need a change. Are we ready for a change? Yes! yes. So we need to move on people. Yes, I know I am young, but I want other people to come on board and see the reality that, man, why would we want a PM if this typical man can't use it? You go past through Santa Cruz. There is a pier and there is no light. Better than me left the road white the night so you can walk and still see. <laughs> Go to San Jose. Right? Go to San Jose. Now these campaigners, they want to take the short road, but they forgot that they never fixed the culverts. So these are the things, people. Look at it. If you want a change, the Belize Progressive Party is here. I is still what I say. Humbly will represent you, and I know what you need. Because I hear it, but I won't do it myself. 
I will do it along with you. So be prepared for the change. I am willing for this time because going around people will not change easily. That I am sure of. They might not vote me in today, this time around November 4th. But we will give it a try, people, because change starts from small. Yes. Right? Yes. And when we create that momentum, yes. we are sending a message to the government of Belize and to the POP that the green flag is going to wave high now and going on. And for now. Yes. That is what we are doing. You, you heard about the 8867. You heard about 8867, some of you don't hear the numbers. 8867 square miles is Belize. That's right. Not right here by Barango, but all the way to South School. And we are not going to give an inch to Guatemala. No, no, no. But if you're willing to sacrifice yeah. that, then you can go and put the blue or the red. But us, the Belize Progressive Party, are willing. We want to work, we will work. But we need the people to listen and say, DPP, we are ready for you. Right? That's good. Right. So guys, think about it. I will leave you with this. Change is good. But it has to start somewhere. I am willing to help you make that change. Are you willing to help me make the change? Yeah. And the answer should be yes. So, come November 4th, when you walk to the police station, if they are giving you $50, $20, man, take it. You know why? Five years ago, you may done work for that. So take it, take it. But I will tell you one thing. Put your check mark on the green box. It's coming as if to me the West. them no more there is no need for you to stay home there is a third option and the third option is BPP yeah. but it is your right to come out and exercise it's the right to come and put a tick it is right to go and put your vote so make sure you come and exercise on that day BPP all the way Toledo East will